Hello, just wanted to talk about how to position the guitar so you don't get injuries. Uh, because I have an injury in my elbow, meaning I cannot sit like this and play for very long, and then my elbow starts hurting. And that's simply because of the fact that when I sit like this, my elbow is, is locked like this. I'm just going to exaggerate it. Playing in a position like this and moving your hand when your elbow is, is, is locked up like that is not a good idea. This is what leads to injury. So you need to have it at least in a 90 degree angle here, right? Or beyond that, a little bit down there. And that's really hard when you're sitting like this because the guitar is so close to, right? And another thing, when you're sitting like this, you have your uh, other elbow higher than the neck, right? So what you need to do is you need to move the guitar, and I know this looks kind of nerdy or classical, and if you're into rock or whatever, then this might not be the most um, uh, desirable position to practice in, but it really helps you not develop these injuries. Because now, as you can see, my arm is in a 90 degree angle because I push the guitar from up here and down there. So, and I'm closer to a standing up position, right? To, to the position I would have my guitar in if, I, if it was strapped around my shoulders. What happens here is that my elbow also gets lowered. So it's lower than the actual neck, which gives me much more freedom to move around here. So it's no wonder that classical guitarists are sitting like this instead of like this. And what they also have, uh, these people, is a little stool for your left foot here. I don't have that now, I'm just resting it on my other foot to get the knee a little bit higher. So I, I strongly recommend that you sit in this position to avoid uh, elbow pain. And of course, this is the most relevant once you start doing this. Thing. Once you start doing that, you know, for hours and hours, it gets really relevant. If you're only practicing 30 to 60 minutes each day and you don't do these repetitive patterns all the time, focusing on technique, uh, then it's not that important. But once you do that, once you really spend that many hours with your instrument each day, then it gets really important that you do not lock up your el elbow every time you play and sit like this instead. And you can sit like this if you're slouched back in a couch. Wherever you are, you can think about not having that closed angle in your hand there, uh, but having an open, open feeling. So what happens if you want to play in a different position like this? Because if I get up right now, and I hold my guitar like that, I'm going to look a little bit nerdy if I want to play metal or hard rock, right? For that kind of style, if you want to look the part, you have to, you have, to have it way lower, like this, you know? That gives the right kind of feeling of, you know, testosterone and whatever it is that you associate to that kind of playing style. Um, and you can see that this is, this is cool for the, for the right hand here, unless you get too low. If you get all the way down here, you kind of impaired in your right hand, but it's kind of flexible all the way up to here. So if you just have an angle like that, it will be really good. But then you can see your elbow is way higher than the neck now. So this impairs your way or your ability to stretch, for instance, on the neck and to hit the notes right. Uh, also, it, 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 you know, if you're used to practicing like this, being able to see the fretboard all the time and you, you stand up and you have the guitar down here, suddenly you can't see very much and it's much farther away. Every note feels differently. So it's, a, it's not a good idea to practice like this for years and then you know, start performing suddenly and then moving the guitar to another position. It takes away 80% of your skills just like that, just moving the position down here. So what do you do? Well, you get used to gradually. First of all, you practice a little bit each day standing up. So you want to practice in the position that you want to hold your guitar in, how you want to move when you, when you perform. You want to practice that. Um, and then, if, if that's too far away from your normal practicing position, you want to gradually lower the guitar. For instance, take one hole in your guitar strap each week. So the first week you stand like this, the next week you have it a little bit lower, the next week a little bit lower, and so on. Then it's amazing how what seemed impossible at first is f quite comfortable. You know, I can play with the guitar all the way down here if I want to. And if you look at some of my earlier videos on YouTube, you can see that I had it all the way down here. And the way I achieved that was to lower it gradually a little bit each week. And then suddenly I noticed that it wasn't hard playing in this position anymore. Of course there were still limitations, but that didn't feel like such a big thing. 
And I wasn't playing a lot in this area, you know, the lower strings high on the neck. It was kind of like, it was kind of a crossed area up here, um, because that's what that's what's most comfortable, right? So you go to the higher strings as you move up the neck. But other than that, it was quite it was quite uh, comfortable to play whatever I wanted to play in that position. So those are really the words on how to position the guitar when you practice and how to make sure that you're not suddenly standing there on stage and having to have your guitar up here or you can't play because it's too low.